This is a video about how to replace an old distribution box in a residential septic system. Locate the distribution box and remove the lid. It's typically about a foot down to the lid. You can use a steel rod as a probe to locate the lid. Dig by hand so you do not damage the piping. Locate the septic tank as seen here in the foreground to access for pumping to make the job less messy. Over time, distribution boxes can deteriorate and fail, as this one did, which is 24 years old. The pink material is a fiberboard used to repair the broken lid a number of years ago. Ideally, Replace the old distribution box with a new box of the same configuration. Coat the box to extend its life. In this case, I used a two-part epoxy. So this D box is just disintegrated. It's amazing. About 24 years old. Note that the pipes have compressed at a round, but they are still usable. We were able to get couplings on. Prep the subgrade for the new D box. Install couplings as needed to make the piping connections to the new D box. This is a critical step. Take the time to achieve the correct grade, and you'll save yourself a lot of grief. The concrete D-Box weighs about 100 pounds, so use two people to shimmy it in place. Plastic D-Boxes may be allowed in some jurisdictions. Install speed levelers to fine-tune the leveling so that flow goes to all distributing pipes equally. Take a photograph and a measurement so you can find the D-Box in the future. Install the lid, backfill gently, and add water to help compact the soil. Then you're done. 